Okay, so in the next few videos, we're going to be looking at situations where we're dealing with uh, the rod uh, tilting, okay, and how that changes the situation, or on the point of tilting. So if I placed a particle, so let's say this is, I've got this uh, uniform rod uh, from A to D, and there are these um, pivots at B and C, okay, that are holding it in place. If I placed a particle between B and C, okay, of a certain weight, then um, this system will remain in equilibrium, okay? Um, as long as the, you know, the rod doesn't break or anything, you know, if we're looking at this sensibly, but the system will remain in equilibrium if I place uh, the particle there. Now, if instead I place the particle here, okay, let's say between A and B, then you could imagine that for certain weights, if um, the particle, depending on where the particle is placed, if it's point placed uh, furthest away from B or, you know, obviously it, make, um, it makes a difference how far it is away from B and also it makes a difference on its mass. For certain distances away and for certain masses, what will happen is that this rod will tilt upwards, okay? And it will tilt around point B. Consequently, the reaction force at C will be zero, okay? So at the point of tilting, once this is just about to tilt, the reaction force at C will be zero. And so we can utilize that fact to solve problems. Okay, so if I know that the um, uh, rod is on the point of tilting, then I can use the fact that if I know the point around which it is tilting, so if I put the point over here, for example, then I know it would have to be tilting around C, which means that the normal reaction force at B will be zero. So once you know the point around which um, the rod will tilt, okay, then the reaction force at all other points will be zero. Okay? That's the key to this, and that is what we're going to utilise to answer problems in the next few videos.